The Congolese spokesman asks the UN Security Council to speed the withdrawal of the Belgian troops. Secretary General Hammershield ponders the problem. Belgium's Pierre Vigny answers Congolese accusations of bad faith. He dramatically discards his script to charge that the Congo has answered Belgium's generosity in granting freedom with acts of violence against Belgians. His is an impassioned plea for fairness to his country in a complicated and potentially explosive situation. But his words have no visible effect on Vasily Kuznetsov of the Soviet Union. Then Henry Cabot Lodge of the U.S. hits squarely at the threats of Soviet armed intervention in the Congo. The position of the United States government on this point is unequivocally clear for itself and for others. Despite, as I've said, despite an official request from the government of the Congo some days ago for United States troops, we insisted that all American help be channeled through the United Nations. The United States can accordingly be counted on to continue its vigorous support for the United Nations in the Congo. With other United Nations members, we will do whatever may be necessary to prevent the intrusion of any military forces not requested by the United Nations. 